now. So I think uh, one of the great things about this is just the, the tremendous artwork and differentiation between all the characters. We have well-known characters uh, like Blazion uh, in Series 1 and Shogun Yan, who is the legendary character. And then as you go down through the different tribes over the course of the year, we have Wazat. Uh, one of my favorites is Tattlecast, who's kind of an amped up version of Tattletel with big speakers. Um, in the Tough Tribe, uh, we have a different uh, Robo Yan. We have uh, Rough Raff, who's kind of a bad influence on Jaban Yan at different points. And then down at the bottom, we have uh, Gilgaros as well, the legendary character in that piece. Uh, in the Charming Tribe, we have a, a number of different characters as well. These will be available in both the blind bags, and some of these will actually come out in exclusive products uh, as well, uh, both at retail and for convention exclusives. In the Heartful Tribe, uh, Hungramps is one of my personal favorites. He makes you hungry. Uh, Happy Air, who's always in a good mood. Old Saint Trick, um, who is, gifts, gives, uh, gives gifts to different people. Um, the Shady Tribe is a, is a different bunch entirely. Um, this is where you have Hydabat and other of his variations. You have Hydabat here and a couple other um, pieces here. Negatabuzz is a, is a fun character that kind of always, always brings it around a negative vibe. And then over in the Eerie Tribe, um, again, these are all characters that fall in that range. We have Cheek Squeak, who is a real fan favorite. Um, Dan Doodle, who is a legendary metal. Um, and then finally our slippery group uh, in the last one a number of great characters as well one of my personal favorite 